Hello viewers, this is Manoj Pandey and you are watching Electric Vehicles. So viewers, today here we are to review this Pure e Trust 350 for you. So let's start this review. So here as you can see the uh, front look of this vehicle, it looks like a bull. And you can see that this part is made of fiber and this is also. But this is not a glossy part and this is made of uh, glossy fiber. As you can see the license plate here and you can see the bull like uh, structure here. Uh, this is the LED headlight. So guys this is a 18 inch tubeless tire as you can see it's alloy also. And there is one disc brake also in front and rear both. And in this bike there is a regenerative braking also. And here you can see the hydraulic uh, telescopic suspension. Also there are reflectors also in both the sides. These round circle reflectors. And here these are indicators and you can see the license panel here. Let's talk about the other side also. Here you can see the designing here. This is also a made up of fiber. And here is a tank. And you can see the tank in close up. See, just like we filled our petrol tanks, similarly they have designed this charging port here. You just have to tap it once and it will open. And here you can see the charging plug here. You have to plug a portable charger here and you can charge this bike in 6 hours 100%. Under this charging port there is battery and this battery is covered by a metal frame. And this is a 3.5 kilowatt hour battery which, is, uh, which you can charge 100% in 6 hours. And, and this bike gives range of 140 kilometers in its first drive mode. And Above this battery you can see the designing made up of fiber here and here is a footrest for the driver but this footrest is not movable it's fixed here you can't move this footrest and in a rear side there is also one footrest but you can move this footrest as you can see this designing is also made up of fiber this is also fiber here you can see the protection guard you can see this and we will talk about the its uh, rear side also. In rear they have used this BLDC hub motor. In nominal it's 3 kW and in peak it is 4 kW. And as you can see the tire, this is a 17 inch tire which is a tubeless and from here you can fill air. You can see this plug in a close up. And here this is a grab rail, you can see this. And this is the designing of uh, fiber and here this is a tail lamp. The tail lamp is uh, quite downwards. Here is a license light and here this is a license panel. In this bike this is a license and registration both required. Why? Because the top speed of this bike is 85 km per hour and there is a reflector also. Let's come this side also. Here you can see the indicator and a lady's footrest. What I feel that in this bike there is no uh, rear footrest. As you can see that in this side there is a footrest but this side there is no footrest. So when I asked their uh, sales ex executive or their workers they said that footrest is in accessories. Also here there is a driving footrest but this is not also movable. There is a single stand and you can see the designing here made up of fiber. And viewers here you can see the seating structure of this bike. Here you can see a curve in this seat and also the curve weight of this bike is 120 kilograms and the load capacity is 160 gram. And now let's talk about its dashboard. As you can see that this is a 7 inch LED display and in which you can see the battery percentage, speed and odometer and the branding of Pure EV. There is a, in this bike right now it's in ready mode, you can see that. And let's talk about its button also. Here you can see the high beam, low beam button. In left handle you can see the high beam low beam button, there is a passing button, these are for indicators. See, if we put, if we turn on any indicators, this bike will give you this sound. And in right handle there is this uh, on and off button. And th this one is for light and this one is for horn. In this bike they have given this horn button in both the sides, you can see that. You can also listen this horn sound and here they have given this three modes why because the top speed of this bike is 85 km per hour in first mode you will get the speed of 60 km per hour and in second mode you will get the speed of 75 km per hour and in third mode you will get it top speed and uh, there is also button of parking so in this bike there is no button to start this bike there is instead of that they have given this foreign button you have to start this bike by pressing this parking button so how to start this bike let me show you let's start this bike you can see the interface and now let's start this bike and first as you can see this bike is in parking mode right now what we have to do is we have to switch this uh, we have to turn this uh, mode here and we have to just switch this bike from parking mode to driving mode and right, and right now this is in driving mode and if we give the acceleration you can see 
tire is moving now. In this bike, there is no reverse mode. As you can see, there is no button of reverse mode here. So viewers, with this bike, you will get such keys, one manual and one automatic. So how automatic key will work, I'll show you. In this key, as you can see, there are buttons. Uh, with this button, when you press this button two times, your bike will start, as you can see. And to lock this bike, you have to press this button. You can see your bike is locked. But now your bike is not locked completely. Anyone can move your bike. So there is also a button of this button. Like I'll show you in practical. As you can see, this tire is moving right now. This bike is just locked. But when I press the last one, if you move this tire now, it will alarm you. Like this. The tire is not moving. And it will give you and it will notify you. So we also took one test drive of this pure EV e 350 in which right now there is no fame to subsidy and now as you can listen to this beep sound this is for indicator and we drive this bike on a crowded roads of Hyderabad on third mode. The sitting comfort is fine for both passenger and driver but we miss the reverse button. Also the acceleration of this bike is 4.4 seconds for 0 to 40 km per hour and handling experience is also good. And we didn't test this bike on hilly or muddy areas so as per our ride on this Hyderabadi roads it was comfortable and silent experience and the pickup is also good. The brakes were perfect but in high speed we feel some vibration on this bike. So viewers, the actual room price of this bike is 155000 and if you are interested in this bike and you want to pre-book this, the pre-booking amount is 5000 or 10000 You can pre-book this while online and offline also. And uh, the delivery, uh, you will get this bike in 45 days of period. So viewers, we have uh, shown you all the review of this bike. If you are interested in this bike and what are your views, please comment us and tell us. And for more such videos of electric vehicles, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Go green, go electric.